What's that song? Haven't, haven't touched the floor yet. <laughs> oh my god, did I break it? Get it? Am I supposed to say it? Yeah, I, I, I mean, get yeah, it. Yeah, I can. So after four months of renovation, right, we are finally done with yes, the house. Yes, finally. It's a 1,141 square feet condo. The renovation is done by R and R by Su Wen, which is the same ID that did for Isabel Aiken. Lah. The whole renovation costs about 110k. The theme is mid-century modern. I don't yeah. know what it means, lah, But we just uh, really like wood, lah. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. So before we go in, we're gonna see how it looks like before. Okay, so the first thing we have over here right. is this shoe cabinet. This right. is from Comfort Design. Okay. To be very honest, I never realized how big they were. Like, I didn't realize that there was also a furniture shop that is not IKEA. That has three, four, yeah, yeah, yeah. five levels, then everything can be customized. Yeah. So a lot of the house is actually from Comfort Design. Right. So including shoe cabinet, which I really like because this part is fluted, which yeah. fits in the theme of the house, which you'll yeah. see later. So even before we go in, right, this very new looking door is actually the very old door because there's a lot of regulation issues. Yeah, for condos, right, you cannot simply change the look of your door because it will affect the facade. Right? How does this work? This is not changing the door. No, itself. it's not. This is from a company skin. called Magic Web. Yeah, right. so they just skin it and paste a sticker that right. is like a lot of proof. Like, oh, everything is okay, waterproof right. and all that stuff. Change right. the frame as well. And the beauty mm. about this is that you can do one side. And then we have, well, I'm damn excited about this. This one is our digital door lock from Kardash. So this lock, right, can do the usual pin code, can do the usual key card, can you do the print. usual biometric fingerprint, uh -huh. but also 3D facial recognition. Especially when you are holding a lot of things, mm. you can just oh. like build a bit, right, right, build right, right. a bit and it unlocks. Right, 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 I, I right. love that about this. And the unlock is very fast. Right, I'll show you. Right, right. Wow. Hey, welcome to my house. So this is the very beautiful foyer. Ah. Sorry, I just want to say uh, before everything, uh, I'm a very proud owner oh, of this yes, house. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And I hope I don't come across as arrogant because I just really want to give no, thanks. He's so passionate and excited, right? That this tour that we are doing, like, I have been through him many times. Already. Yeah, yeah. He and I will say it in the same energy. Every time he say right, like, <laughs> his energy get more You and don't more. out me. But okay, okay, never mind. Let's okay. talk about entrance. And so you can see here in this area, there's a very nice fluted arch. So yeah. over there, it's curved. Yeah. And what I really like about the use of this space. Actually, this is a weird wall that cannot be hacked. Right. So we were thinking how to do this, right? And the solution is a shoe drawer. Wow. Wow. You never show me. <laughs> How does it make it so long? Uh? No, because inside very deep. Oh, oh, oh. Based on this side, it has yeah. the illusion that. Eh, Correct. Where the where did it came from? Which what I like is that our ID Shuwen added a lot of magic into this house. It, it do things that you never thought of. Correct. Like we say yeah. beside the door, we want mm. mirror. And then she's like, oh okay long. But then because it doesn't go with the look of the house, right? Mm -hmm. Bronze mirror. Who will who will think about bronze mirror? Okay. okay. So as you walk into the house, right, you are first greeted by the herringbone flooring from Evo Ridge. Right. What I really like about this herringbone style flooring, right, right. I mean besides the color, lah, right. is that the vinyl itself, right, is built in herringbone. Right, it's not tear one lah. Correct, so it's like less wastage, right, so right, right. you can save money. So a lot of people don't know this, right? when you renovate your house, right, usually your ID will order more than what is required. Yes. In case something goes wrong. But did Suwon tell you why you do herringbone this way? Just uh, say I want herringbone. The, the superstition uh, way is all the money will flow into your room. I see. And it won't go out. I see. Ah. So I really like this one. Um, also, you will see that the walls is made of textured paint from Warhub. Mm -hmm. uh, the color is called Milky Latte. If you like lime wash, you'll probably like this. But lime wash ages with time. Correct. Right? So lime wash ages over time, and then you can see it get darker. Some people like that. Yeah. So for this textured paint from Warhub, you lock in the look. So these shelves over here, which mm -hmm. I really love, are uh, American black walnut yeah. wood cut from a large yeah. slab of like wood from grey and sanders. Yes. The color is them chill and this is life age. So you right. can request life age then they'll make sure they will leave the natural curvature on yeah. the edges of the trunk to face outside. Yeah. Shuwen also insists that she backlight almost everything in the mm. house. So you will see here there's built-in backlight within the wood which she coordinated with grey and sanders right. uh, to cut the groove for. Everything pops ah. ha, you know, like yo, 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 yo. floating up. 
Uh, okay, okay. Yo ho, yo ho. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So yo, as a yo. Catholic family, right. if this is not here, right. my priest and my mom will get upset at me. Uh. But of course, I myself personally am a big fan of Jesus Christ. Okay. Now we go on to the rest of the living room. So what's in your living room? Come, just... Okay, first and foremost, you got this tall and short coffee table mm -hmm. from Comfort Design. Once again, a lot of their things are very much customizable. Eh. You can really tell them three furniture or can you make a hybrid or uh. then they go and come, 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 come out. Can. Because the factory is at level one and they're literally cutting wood there or something. The showroom eh. and the factory is all in one place. Correct. So what I like about this store and shop besides is them chill mm -hmm. is that when I sit down here and watch TV, I put here Yo, oh, me, yo. Oh, oh, okay, yo, okay, me, okay, yo. Yeah, I see, I see where you're going there. I see God, where you're going there. Right, bro. We also have the sofa. Okay. This one we took a long time. Actually, Ryan helped me choose this sofa. Oh, yeah, yeah. What? It, it, it was quite a long and tedious process. We were there like three hours too long. <laughs> Every no, I tell you why. Because my HDB was bigger, I could accommodate a larger sofa. Right, right, right. So you have to be very particular. Correct. And careful about your choice. So I really need to maximize it. Yeah, I cannot have depth. So it took me a long time to find something and Grey and Sanders has it. So it has beautiful colours, it's extremely soft and I like leather because if there's spillage, you can wipe. Oh yes. My old sofa right, right. has an L shape, which I really like the L shape because I like to watch TV and noir. Right, right. This is called what? Ottoman. This makes the L. So technically it's an L shape but a fake L shape lah. Correct. Which I kind of like it. Yeah, Actually, it works. It's mobile ma, so yeah, you it gives you side. access to the balcony. Right. Then we got... My pet. So pet don't like animals. I love animals. So the compromise is no animals. Eh? But... What's your animal here? Sir? I just hey, see one tree. There's 11 trims inside. How dare oh, you? Oh, oh trims ah. This is a completely self-sustaining ecosystem, okay? Also, you don't have to do anything. I mean... If they evaporate, you have to top up a bit. La. But oh. you, don't have, you don't have to feed it, you don't have to clean it. Where, where you buy it? This, this one I legit hey, interested. This is called living aesthetics. So this guy is not even a business, or at least not yet. Right. Uh, he's just a very passionate hobbyist. Right, right, right. So you give him a budget, then let him earn a bit, la, right? Right, right, right. Then he will build and deliver to you. I also really like the console in a sense whereby right. I don't like glass consoles. Right. You don't want to see the mess, la, right? Yeah. yeah. The glass console, you can see the mess. And then even if you darken it, right, yeah. it always looks like shiny and fingerprint and stuff. I don't right, like right, it. Right. However, it's still very important to have a console that can hide the stuff. Right. Yet when you use remote, right, it can detect. Right. So she went very cleverly, she fluted the whole thing. So mm -hmm. it's too dark to see the mess inside. Mm -hmm. And this whole fluted thing it really flows throughout your house. From outside to inside, all got the fluted. Uh, correct. Yeah. You know why, right? My why? wife like. Oh, she like. Yeah, so time. how it started was that we both started our own mood board. Right. Then after some negotiation, we just used my wife's mood board. It, 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 do, be, it do be like that. It, 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 but all good, that all good. I've always like peeved about seeing cables. Because of the fact that she wants to hide the cable from mm -hmm. me, right? Mm -hmm. She didn't just push out the wall. Right. She indented the part behind the TV. So, so the TV looks damn close to the wall. Ah. Oh yeah. Okay, this okay, is the okay. big rack. Like. This I see, I rack. see. This one is the, you know, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the I see. Pivot, pivot one wall. Yeah. This looks familiar. This is Powerhouse K TV. Uh -huh. To be honest, right, right, right when right. I got the Powerhouse, right, right, I was not very sure how often we would use it. No, I see your story. You all use it. Yeah, no, no, it turns out we have not stopped using it. Yeah. This, is, this turns on every single day. Every day got different people come and sing songs. Then that's where I realized, I, I saw. mileage. Mileage, good mileage, mileage, good mileage. Right. So just nice this Ottoman here. Right. Tanker, ah, yeah. You oh, thought about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 about yeah. It was there one. Yeah, right. it it. We also use Powerhouse at our office. And one thing that sets them apart from the other karaoke systems right, is that there's no subscription fee. And all their Chinese songs or Korean songs go honey ping. Even if your console right, don't have space for this, right, you can just turn it on and there's a QR code. Then everybody use their phone and uh, choose songs. I will say this. La, as far as karaoke system go, right, Powerhouse is the way to and go. And I don't even know any other brand. Okay. Then you look at these boba lights in the ceiling. So these uh, are lights from Soul Lumine. Oh. I tell you, go to the Soul Lumine showroom, right? Then yeah. you talk to the staff, right? right? And they are really damn passionate. I never see people like lights so much, okay? Yeah. They tell yeah. you why when you turn light on and off, right? right. They got that whole soft on, soft off thing. Uh -huh. It's not just aesthetics, it gives your eyes time to adjust to the brightness. Right. It transitions, it's not just pop, pop. It's Correct. transitions. Correct. Okay, on to the next place. Yes. We are here at the balcony and this is my favourite area of his house. And every time I come to his house, right, even if it means that I sit here alone for like yeah. one hour, I'll just sit here alone. So Pat and I also sit down here in our evenings because we just moved in, right? Right, right, right. So we still got this very surreal feeling of, oh yeah. my god, this is our house and we cannot believe it, right? right. Then we will like drink our night supplement, then we just ah. smell each other like a... Ah. Is this real life? Living your life! So the balcony can get rather hot, especially mm. during the afternoon, right? And ah. so we got zip track from zip blinds. This zip track, right, I tell you, 99% water repellent. Repellent. It's fully 
automatic, there is suspensions inside. All right. I don't know why. Many zip tracks, when strong wind come in, right, mm. the whole zip track will blow out. So this one has individual suspensions across. And what is also very beautiful about this, right, is that as the blinds go down, the place get dark, right? Yes. You got soft light that turns on. Oh, wow. What, what a detail. It's eh? them over engineer. I, I don't know. I, I didn't notice this detail before. Is wow. it weird? Some zip tracks, right, the holes are very, uh, slightly bigger. When it rains very heavily, You can right? see like droplets start ah. oozing in, right? It start oozing yeah. in. Yeah, but yeah. this one won't. So sometimes you know when the thing roll up, right? Ah. Then got flies on it, right? It get rolled up. Ah. So when you come out, you get dead flies. Ah. So this one has a brush system such that every time it rolls in and rolls oh, out, they, right? They... It cleans it. Oh. Such that any bugs will just fall off. We also have uh, outdoor furniture. Oh yes. So comfort design also has outdoor furniture. Oh yes, 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 yes. Basically yes. can kena sun, can kena rain, no problem. So la. if you want the largest variety that I can find uh, in Singapore, it's really comfort. Shu Wen also, right, had a vision for the balcony. So she flew from the wall all the way up to the ceiling. ceiling. And she took a damn long time to find the correct supplier for this, okay? Because okay. she wants to make sure, right, that it won't collapse. This is purpose-built for ceiling, lightweight one. Also, we got this very beautiful Pale boba. Balls. Boba twin, oh. how dare you? That really accents this place. Right. It bridges the living room to the balcony via the fluted wall and the matching light. And I like this type of uh, light because it's diffused and it's glowy. It's yeah. not like jarring yeah. to your eyes. Like you can look at it and admire yeah, it yeah, without yeah. being uncomfortable. Then we'll be moving on to the dining room. Okay, so now we're at the dining space. Yes. So this dining table, yes. which is damn chill, is from Comfort Design as well. Because the house, right, the space don't allow us to have a round table. Mm -hmm. But I like that round table in case we this hard. Right. We decided to curve the table, mm -hmm. which is a custom curve thingy. Then I realized you can really sit around it. So it when still you two, can, right? we pull out all our extra chairs and this ah. table right, can squeeze in nine people. Right. Yeah. And I noticed your bottom, right? Fruited. Still, still continue the yeah, yeah, <laughs> She wasn't very disciplined. Yeah, it, it's not, it's never really... lost on her. And you see this chair as well, also from Comfort Design, mm -hmm. has this rattan finishing. Right. Which I think is them chill. Then we have this light from Soul Luminaire. But this one, uh, this one, uh, I when he decided about it, uh, I was like, really? It's a little bit pricey. Yeah. However, okay, this is not just no, lights, okay. Can I tell everybody how much you spent on this? I think we spent 4.2k. Uh, but no regrets. I really love it leh! Is it, not, it, is it not them chill? Why I really like this right, when it's off right, it looks like a hanging sculpture. Right. Yeah, so this is inspired by the ocean floor. Ah. I guess it looks like an oyster with a pearl inside. Okay, okay. It's a legit art piece that's hand-bended by a European artist, yeah. I think from Spain. Yeah. Which is why it's unique. Every single piece is slightly different. Yeah. yeah. So this is them chill. Then over here, we have fan. Right from Europe is. Ah. I tell you. So you know bladeless fans, right? Yeah. The problem with those bladeless fans, right, is that the wind not very strong. Yeah, it is. It's not yeah. very strong. This one, also a bladeless fan, also got filtration. But the fan them strong. It's twin blade, so it's on both sides. Uh -huh. Both sides independently rotate. Oh. And the whole thing also rotate. Oh, damn. So it's like, you cannot sell the wind. You try, you cannot. Oh. You absolutely cannot. And then, on the other side of this stadium-shaped table, you got a bench. But this bench not normal. Why is it not normal? It's ergonomic. It's V-shaped. It caresses your yeah. ass. When you see on it, right, uh -huh. you will find that your natural posture, right, right. is straight one. I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. Kitchen, I tell you, uh. kitchen, this one. Ah, this one, this one. Okay, first at the entrance. Haven't even go inside the kitchen, ah. Uh, uh. uh, uh, okay, y'all see this door, ah? Uh? I call it the Polaroid shaped door. Oh. It, it kinda, oh, yeah, it looks like a Polaroid. Like it, right? So what I really like about this Polaroid door, right, is that it has ghost track. Okay. What it means is that when you open and close, right, there's no track. Spend. <laughs> you. You <laughs> There's no track, you see! You physically don't see any track. Yeah? So basically, there is one little ball here that's holding it all together. Right. I don't know how it works, man, but it's amazing. So, there's an art shaped entrance. Yeah. Then over here, we have uh, our Ruhen water dispenser. This whole water dispenser itself also has a ice dispenser of which there's 55 ice cubes and you can choose the size. Right. It is good, right? If your fridge don't have an ice maker, right? You can have this and a water filter all built in one. And our uh, Hot water dispenser. Yeah, three oh. different dispensing rate and you can set what the default yeah. is. Also, ah. the water can have three temperatures. So there's right. 40 degrees, 60 degrees, and 80 degrees. Mm. Okay. Oh, sick, this one. Sick. And I don't know if it is. So it's so sick. Okay, so over here, we have our fridge from Europe Ace. Okay, first of all, here is quite narrow. Right. So we needed like a two-door opening kind of fridge. Right, right. Okay, so this fridge has three compartments. This one is freezer, mm -hmm. chiller. Okay. This one, Sweeney. 
Anything you want. It can be a wine cooler, it can be a fridge, it can be a freezer. Oh wow. There are three modes la. So this entire thing can be a wine cellar. Mm. Then the fridge itself comes with a few accessories also to like insert bottles and all that stuff. Ah. And we come here. So this is from Lucky Kun, this basin. And this uh, tap. The detachable one this one. Wow, then boy yo. Hey. Hey. Okay, what I like about Lucky Kun is that they have the big variety to support any type of budget. Yeah, you want like the cheaper stuff, you want the high-end stuff, mm -hmm. they, they have everything. It's almost like a one-stop like, when you go Lucky Kun. You, yeah. can, you can basically do your whole house there. And then we also have kitchen fittings from Excel. When I was shopping for something a little bit more premium looking to fit the theme of the house, right? Mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe not Excel. But then you they, realize they that Excel the, also have they also have very big range. So last time my, my reno budget was 30 thousand-ish. Okay. That one also whole house Excel. Right. Now the Reno budget is a bit bigger. And they also can they also the, yeah, suit. They also have the more premium range yeah. one. Uh. So you look at the kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. This is a theme that I think Pat Pinterest it. Okay. And then Shu Wen from r, r finesse it. It's very large, right? And it has this little line that Pat yeah. likes, which serves as a handle. And one of the aesthetic solutions was to then build the drawers inside. Oh! Like, Ah. Of which is also Excel hinges and also soft closing soft la, closing. So, uh, yeah. hey. Also, we have this very over engineered hood. This one, you turn it on via your hand, then you can put adjust oh. Oh. the speed. This one at maximum speed, ah, my water cannot boil. Eh. But because it's too it strong already. Uh, Sometimes you, you cook your hand oily, right? right? Then you don't want to touch this, ma. Uh. You can wave. Damn, okay. Wow, this one is really a bit over engineered. Uh. It's ridiculous and it's so right. beautiful. So we got the matching hop. Which is also from Europe Ace. Wait, hey, you, you choose gas cooker? Yeah la. No, I would never expect that. No, gas cooker is the way to go. Cause then I you get wok hay. And then, we have the matching oven. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this oven ah, right. looks like few buttons, but it has all the modes. So you can top heat, bottom heat, roast and all that stuff. Right. But inside, this thing, me broke la! Yeah. So it can sense that temperature, it beeps or it turns off. Ah. So you can really leave it there to make sure it get perfectly cooked. Cook. So what I also really like, right, about mm. the kitchen, sure decided that the backsplash mm. matched the tabletop. This is something mm. that we've never done. But it really completes the very clean look of the house. Mm. Seamless lah, it's very seamless. Yeah. yeah, and so much easier to clean yeah, because yeah. last time we used glass. Ah. Then always got the oil stains. This one also got oil stain, but you cannot But, but you can't see. Then over here, uh, I think just like battery area area backlighting everything. We have this power track from Line 8. Mm. Everything is made to measure. Mm -hmm. And then it's not just like black, white, grey, that kind of thing. They got different like skins yeah. and laminate. La. Why we went with line 8, right? It's because of the, the safety component. Mm -hmm. The owner explained to me that it's completely a parallel circuit. Which means you plug in, you turn on from the switch. Even though this is on, theoretically, you put a finger in here, right? You are not at risk of getting shocked at all. Can I talk about my dustbin? Yeah, sure. Your dustbin is... Yeah, I tell you what, this dustbin, uh, besides can open, with sensor, when you want to throw away already, right. you press and hold, it seals the bag, uh -huh. it rebacks. After it rebacks, right, right, inside got a vacuum that will suck to make sure the bag is oh. like fully like expanded. Well, I have never seen such passion of when describing a this is waste bin. What the heck, town new guys. So no promo code if I say ah. Uh, uh, okay, like, then we are at the service yard area. So service yard, we have the LG wash tower. This is the most chill washer dry I've ever seen. This is very overkill, yeah, this thing. Yeah, this exactly. Is you, inside got light for what? This one, they make it very compact. Yeah. So you can see already, it's not that high. And both is controlled by a central panel. So you don't have to like, let that, then you let that. Washing machine normally is a very ugly piece of uh, tech, uh, but yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. is damn chill. Uh, this like one. this one can put in living room, man. It's, right. it's the vibe. So basically, this one also connects to the app. So you can preset basically is the least amount of water, mm. express, that kind of stuff, then you can just press. Yeah. Living in the future, man. Correct. However, not every fabric is suitable for dryer. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, here was a toilet. Then here was a utility room. So when we took it out, right, then mm. I was a bit worried lah because mm. we got big things like mahjong table. I think Shu Wen realized that I was genuinely very concerned about that and so mm. she baked storage into everything and because of the design she made right mm. many of these things you don't know can open one but actually all can open one ah. yeah. you look at the lights here these are halo v2 lights from Soul Lumine. right 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 yeah so these lights right doesn't just light up the place them right. purely you have to you can change that yeah you can push it around so yeah. you can light different things and what i like about this right is because right surrounding the light right it has one like ring yeah, that's yeah, why it's yeah. called halo i also really like it that you don't just go to Soul Lumine and then you just order lights mm. you show them your layout and how you intend to use then your they will plan for you. Then right? the experts there will plan your light. So let the experts plan your light, right? Such that they know you don't like the floor, you like the surfaces, that yes. kind of stuff. Okay, so now we are going to head to the rooms where Pat and John will tell us more about what they do in their rooms.
Okay, so now I have my beautiful wife. Hello. The second most beautiful thing in this house after the light. <laughs> I'm below the light, oh no. So this is the walkway. I really, really like the walkway of this house. Love. The texture paint from the living room carries on into the walkway. That is guided by this strip LED light that can soft on, soft off. Uh, this is from Gan En. But it's a cove that is designed by Shu Wen. I was very impressed because like the shape of it looks so cool. It follows the theme throughout like all yeah. the curves and stuff. Beside the strip light, this is the Isa Mini V3 from Soul Luminaire. Basically, they have a very popular spotlight that kind of looks like this, but they downsized it and kept the lighting quality the same such that if you want a less flashy kind of spotlight right you have something a bit more inconspicuous and it's still bright enough to light up the whole corridor even though it's quite long and we only need two and so before we go into the study room right wanted to show y'all uh, the doors that we the like doors, very much doors I love <laughs> so this is the door to our study room called the Velto glass door this glass door has the thinnest frame that we've seen in our Han yeah yeah and this is currently the new version and it's the only one in existence in Singapore now so one of the reasons why we picked a glass door right for our study was cause we wanted to make sure you know for example if I'm in a call right mm. that pet won't be like hey, be yeah. you know? I want to ambush him yeah. So like you can clearly see that, that we are on call people. And we also wanted some natural light within this corridor Which otherwise might be quite dark mm. And when we were sourcing our doors right This place, 8 doors, was love at first sight yeah. When we were told to that we need to go and buy doors And then I saw that they could do these seamless looking doors right I'm so I just brought him there and I said I want this door Then and I found out a lot about my friend oh, Hot love is <laughs> serendipity So the good thing about these doors are You notice that the textured paint wall right is actually painted throughout all the doors. So this door, right, has hydraulic soft closing. So again, if we quarrel, he cannot slam the door. Correct. Because uh, nobody can hear uh, loud banging noises. Also, you will see over here that there are no hinges. So the hinges are all concealed within this panel here. They have many, many colorways. Like, but for us, because we are doing textured paint, they will give us a material of which after we coat the primer, then we paint the texture paint so that the doors more or less turn into frames. Okay, so now we go into the study room. So over here is where we both work together, uh, even though very seldom now because we hardly work from home anymore. So as you can see, uh, this room feels a bit small. And remember he said we knocked away our storeroom in the kitchen, right? So where did the storage space go? Where is our mahjong table? There's a secret compartment that I can pull from here. So actually right, this room oh, we wanted an arch. So then we realized the arch like not very practical eh, Cause like we don't have that many things to display but we got mm. a lot of things we want to store. So we complained to Shugan again. So she just drew something right and I tell you this design was so complex ah, that the carpenters took a long time to consult with Shugan. I think we redraw about like 3 to 4 times. Yeah but it's not, not we want on this Shugan design la. She's a perfectionist. Correct. Mm. When you choose ID right, you must find someone BOCD la. Correct. And so now we are going to show you the other parts of the house. Okay so now we are in the common bathroom. Okay, so we have a total toilet bowl that we got from Lucky Kun. What I really like about this toilet bowl, right, is that the bidet is very, very gentle and the jet is very, very thick. So very, very comfortable on your A-hole, which is what I really enjoy. Since there is no electrical component, so when you wash the toilet bowl, right, you can just wash liberally. And then this toilet bowl is quite special. It has what's called a tornado flush, which means every time you flush, right, the flush follows a twirl that covers the entirety of the inside of the bowl. So like skip marks la, or whatever bacterial growth, right, it's washed every time you press the flush. Then there's also this uh, basin from Lucky Kun as well. We made all the basins in all the toilets somewhat of an up piece of sorts. So this one is a bit more common, uh, but the one in the master is decent. Uh, piece, la. So in the shower area of the common toilet, right, there's a three-way shower system. Uh, okay, there's the rain shower, the handheld one, and this one of which you can interchange the modes, right? They call this the modern black. So it's basically matte black and chrome. And this thing can move. I don't know why. I guess you can wash your feet without moving your feet. Okay, so let's go to the guest room. We're now at our guest bedroom. And over here, we wanted it to be like a room where our guests can stay here comfortably. Yes. And don't need to feel paise. The room is actually quite spacious. Uh, without the bed. And then where is the bed? Later we show you. Okay, first of all, we have this stool. It is from Comfort Design. It can act as a tabletop as well. And it also has storage. So this house right, is all about storage. Anything that we buy must be able to hold some things. Lah. Then over here is where you can hang your clothes. Uh, these are John's clothes because sometimes he sleep here when we quarrel. Uh, Prop ah, so he ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then after that, we have line 8 here. So like this line itself can fit about 5 which is a lot. And then when we move over to this side, is where uh, we have our heart to heart talks. So we put these uh, two very comfortable... Foldable chair. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to show you how we open the Murphy bed. I want to say this one we rehearsed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that we put the flower vase there. Uh, looks very, very fragile. dangerous. 
<laughs> no. You see? It maintains. It doesn't fall. Then if we rehearse correctly, right? Ta-da! Oh, what's that song? Haven't, haven't touched the floor yet. <laughs> oh my god, did I break it? Ta-da! So this is a mattress from Musa. We chose this firm mattress because we it's feel that joke. all our friends also quite old already. Need to mm. have firm mattress, ah, don't sleep on soft mattress. But the good thing about Musa, right, is that you can split the bed in half also. So for example, if you like softer, you can do one side soft, mm. then the other side firm. Before I tried Musa, right, I always thought that foam beds are inherently very, very soft. Especially because they deliver in like one rolled up bundle. And presumably, it's sitting rolled up in the factory for a few months. And it open up to like that, right, it gives me a lot of confidence in how good this foam and how long it will last. Okay, so now we go to the cream de la cream, uh, PS de resistance, uh, coup de gras. So this is the master bedroom. So for the master bedroom, we wanted to keep it a bit simple Duck. because we wanted to then fill up the space with like memories and we don't want to like touch outside because we feel like outside is perfect already. So you will see that there is also a lot of shelf space and tabletop spaces. And the colour theme over here, we wanted something darker because it will help us sleep better, we feel. We opted for wallpaper because the wallpaper gives us the same texture as a textured paint and also because we, we moved in already. Mm. So we didn't want to make a big mess here again. I think wallpaper are a damn elegant solution. There's like no mess and the installation is like ridiculous one. Like Less like, than 2-3 hours yeah, done already. They finish all the wallpaper. In the and house. it's really zero mess uh, as compared to paint. So we opted to go for this wallpaper. We also got bedside tables from Grey and Sanders. This one is made of hardwood, right? But yeah. the drawers are very, very smooth and it's very, very sturdy. And then one of the most important things in the master bedroom is the bed. So this is the Wusa queen size bed with a custom hit box. And it comes with a remote control because it can incline. So you can actually try it at their showroom. We went down to their showroom and we slept on all oh. the different kind of blades. <laughs> just like the bed mostly side by side one. So you can just lie on one side, then, then you, you roll. roll all the way to the end. Then like when you want to stop, you just stop. Then this is the one. Yeah. And I heard they have a new outlet coming out for you to try. The bed is damn comfortable. This is my yes. first time using a foam bed. And we also have the pillows from them as well. Uh, it feels like cloud. Like you're sleeping on cloud. There are a lot of modes on the control. But have you all seen zero G mode? Zero G. Really feels like zero. I don't know what zero G feels like, but this feels like the it. The first few times when we move in, right? After I shower, I come out, I see him in zero G. Right? I'm like, what happened to you? He's like, like that. <laughs> like, I thought but it's so uncomfortable. comfortable. It stretches, it stretches your, your lower back. Yeah, and actually one of the most grateful things I have in choosing Usa, right? Mm. Was that on days where I tired or if I drink, right? I snore. Oh, and yeah. They have a built-in anti-snore mode. I tested it and it really works. It works. Yeah, it really so works. right now it really is perfect. So the anti-snore mode basically just props up the head a little bit. We also customised the headboard. Uh, we chose the fabric and chose the design we wanted. Then we have the bedside light from Soul Luminaire. I really, really like these lights. I don't know what it's called. I think some eclipse lights. Because if you look from far, right, it looks like eclipse and you can rotate. you can rotate to make the eclipse look more hovery. Mm. Pat usually really sleeps early and she is light <laughs> sensitive. So this one, right, besides you can press and hold to dim and brighten, you can also press it one more time. That's then you you get a small light, lah, like aeroplane. So you can read in the dark. Yeah, and then we continue the theme of Life Edge Wood. From Grey and Sanders. And so this is the master bedroom toilet. This is also, in my opinion, the cream de la cream, pure de resistance, and coupe de gras. Is it correct? Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. So we have a double basin here. I had my eyes set on this when I saw it. It's really very beautiful. It's not white. It really fits the dry toilet very well. And we also have the faucet from G Ferretti, also from Bucky Cook. Okay, so other than the double basin, we move over to the vanity area. This is where I put on my makeup, dry my hair, and my husband has been very particular as to how we store our hair dryer. He had a very long chat with Shuan, which I'm not involved because I don't know what he's talking about. But uh, the end product of it is actually quite genius. Lah. So you see here, there's a line 8, right? We didn't want the line 8 to be inside because just in case we want to charge our toothbrush, for example, we wanted to be able to put it on the table. Mm. But we didn't want the cable to rest on the table and go back up again. So we cut a slit here to conceal the wire such that it's gravity driven when you pick it up the cable pulls out then when you put it back the, there's a slack behind this wall that just collects the wire Talk about gravity and all for just wire right? I would like to shout out to Shua for entertaining my idea Thank you Then we have a place here to hang our towel and the bottom part is where I told Shuwen specifically that I need to design for laundry bags so we can uh, put our dirty clothes over here. We didn't think we could fit a double basin in this very, very tiny space. Then Shuwen just looked at the layout. 
and then she concealed the window. So the aircon man can still climb out of this, enough space for the person to fit through lah, to yeah. go and clean the condenser and then we can still have storage space over here. So at the ceiling, we replaced it with wall hubs, wallpaper as well instead of just a white wall because it wouldn't go well with the laminate. But for example, if your showers right, you are looking at just tiles, mm. uh, no need. You can literally wallpaper your entire shower and give you one tropical feel or whatever feel you want to feel. You can put a jungle inside also can. And then now we go to the most important thing in the toilet. Yeah. So now we're going to the toilet part of the toilet. Okay. So you see, you see this toilet bowl, which is very over-engineered, okay? It greets you by opening the lid. It lights the inside of the toilet bowl and then it spritz the side of the toilet bowl with a bit of water such that your shit don't stick it. And then when you sit down, the seat is warm, got five temperature settings. And then when you are done, you use the wall flush and the toilet deodorizes itself. Is this not mad? Is this not mad? So we got this total toilet also from Lucky Kun. This is wall mounted flush of which you can open this lid uh, for you can open this lid from here for easy maintenance so in the shower area we have the Hans Grohe shower set also from Lucky Kun it has the handheld shower also has the concealed rain shower which means you see there's, there's no piping here it's worked within behind the tiles and above the ceiling and so moving on to the last part of the house which will be taken by Pet this is the wardrobe. Okay, so this is the fourth bedroom that used to be accessible via the corridor outside, but we uh, built it into the master bedroom because this is our wardrobe. So the reason why we have a room just for wardrobe is because I have a lot of clothes, I'm a hoarder. So I need a lot of storage space for my clothes. Uh, as you can see, John only has this portion. Then he did drawers for all his foldable clothes, eight of them, which I also feel that is a lot for a guy, but never mind, I give it to him because I'm taking two panels. So this is a movable mirror. You can actually slide across to dress yourself up. Lah. And then over here, we have more storage space. There is a magic compartment that Shu won't build for us. So your hand ah, can actually go all the way in to put like maybe your secret money. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to put in there. Lah. Okay, so again, the windows over here have been hidden. It's actually at the back of his clothes where you can actually easily open up. So that's all we have uh, for the wardrobe. And finally, right, everything in this house has been made smart thanks to Gan En. So they have an inbuilt app such that you can set up your own scenes and like really cross everything together, right? Then it works very well with either Siri or Google Assistant. And you can control by app, voice control, ah. uh, and switches, right? Correct. And so yeah. the switch, I tell you, I brought one here. This switch, damn exciting. When he first explained to me, right, <laughs> I couldn't get it. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's switch like, is a switch. It's like science fiction. This switch uh, contains no battery. Every time you press it, right, it does some magic inside. Yeah. I think there's a solenoid in there such that you strike the solenoid one time to generate enough electrical energy to send one charge to the receiver that turns on and off the light. It's a toggle la. It's, it's a mad. Yeah, yeah. He say all the solenoid or whatever not yeah. not. You understand me? Uh, no. A little bit. No, we <laughs> learned this in, we learned this in Remy 4 right? No, okay, okay. How electricity is generated with the cutting the magnetic field. I, I mean I drop out la, so. So Garnon doesn't just do the app and, and the receivers mm. and the switch right? They also have the LED that can soft on soft off. Mm. Also the automatic curtain tracks. Motorized curtain mm. tracks. Motorized curtain tracks. So you get your normal curtain, tell them the dimension. Mm. Then now you can voice command your curtain. Meh. Meh. Okay, so if you enjoyed this house tour and our renovation and would like to work with R&R, &R, make an appointment with them. If you quote overkill, right, and bring along your floor plan, you'll get a $100 Salini voucher. And, and a mood board proposal. And a mood board proposal. And you, you don't even need to sign with them. Are you, you don't need to sign with them. But don't be an asshole about ah, don't, don't be an asshole. <laughs> don't be an asshole about yeah. this. Also, right, R&R &R gives lifetime warranty for all their hinges. They are, if I'm not wrong, they are the only ID in Singapore to do so. Yeah, lifetime. Yeah, and my experience with R&R &R has been 
amazing ah. They will come and tell you. They will say no to you. You can veto if you want. You know. They tell you how to even style your house. Whether this will work, this will not work. You can force them into a decision, and then they will say, okay, I will narrow down to two. You can choose one. Either one is okay. And I think I really, really appreciated that because I felt like no decision I make right can risk. Like the aesthetics of the house, mm. I know that someone is looking out for it, and that no matter what, the house will be very, very chill. Yeah. So I have to thank R and R um, for this. Thank you so much. Welcome to the end of our video, and we hope that you enjoy this house tour. Pat and I will be making a lot more content about the little things we've learned in this house and the small, small things around this house that we don't have time to cover within this video. So do follow us on our socials and also follow us. See the house tour on the daily catch up where I'll talk about other things as well. Mm. So as always, remember to follow all our socials and click here for more. And click, click here, here to support. Ah, shit! Ah. But that doesn't matter. What? Subscribe! This is not my favorite video to do because these two can hold so well that I don't think you'll do good. But husband, don't worry about it. But I also want to shout out to Ryan and his team. Thank um, you so much. I think we owe a lot of the collaborations or even the things that we paid for, the recommendations and the advice in terms of how do you want to design this house. Yeah. I think Ryan played a really, really big part in how this house looked like and this absolute decadence that we currently live in today. So thank you very much, bro. Thank you. Oh, nice. Okay, then we can cut to the bloopers. Because he very he very excited and passionate, I I rather let him go to. Okay. 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 Show this. Oh, f it lah! Don't you treat to? I don't understand when you come off for what. Okay, show. Sure. <laughs> then you go, you go, you go, go. Yeah. Go. Okay. Four, seven, thirteen. So what I really like about this 